All right, we're here with Dr. Matthias Karianis. How do you say that? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, Matthias Karianis from uh, NYU Langone Medical Center. And Dr. Karianis, could you please discuss uh, this NF2 clinical trial and your work with the Children's Tumor Foundation and uh, what's happened thus far and what you kind of expect in the future? Uh, first of all, uh, I have to thank the CTF because the CTF has really been absolutely instrumental uh, in uh, moving forward NF uh, clinical trials research. Uh, specifically um, in NF2, we have a, um, uh, a NF1 a clinical trials consortium funded by the DOD has been existing for quite some time, but uh, uh, for NF2 there uh, has been a paucity of trials um, uh, up to uh, a couple of years ago and, uh, and uh, uh, a lot of um, uh, uh, help uh, to uh, launch these trials came from the CTF and we've been uh, very uh, generously funded twice, uh, once with the uh, Lapatinib Phase Zero clinical trial, which is a consortium trial that is ongoing and uh, uh, Dr. Blakely presented some uh, very uh, interesting um, uh, interim data on this trial at this meeting and uh, we're going to continue to accrue patients uh, to that study and then moving forward we have an upcoming uh, clinical trial for, uh, for NF2 patients with um, progressive uh, meningiomas or vestibular schwannomas using RAD001 which is an mTOR inhibitor. Very nice and um, could you talk about any of the results or that, that that she presented on today or anything that you've noted through this conference that either you didn't expect or was a nice surprise or any topics like that? So, uh, yeah, I think there's, uh, well, first of all, it's really amazing every year, uh, this, I think this is the fourth year I'm coming back here, uh, that the progress, uh, how fast the progress is going. I know it's never fast enough and we're, we're still a bit away from finding, you know, the miracle drug, but, um, you know, just seeing particularly at this conference the mouse models and the sophistication of the mouse models and how they've developed, and I can see that that's going to be a big step towards um, better ability to preclinically test some of the drugs um, because because most of the trials uh, and and, uh, and uh, uh, successful trials, uh, uh, even. Um, have really been conducted without uh, uh, a lot of underlying mouse work. You know, uh, Scott Plotkin's uh, Avastin work, for example, um, uh, was never tested in a mouse and it was, it was successful. And uh, so uh, ideally we will move to um, uh, more predictive uh, mouse models and I'm uh, 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 very uh, positive and hopeful that we'll have uh, better tools in the future to more rationally uh, design these clinical trials, hopefully with better drugs. Excellent. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. That was easy. All right.